you wanted to offer some clarity uh, regarding the conversation that we had before the break. Yeah, and I, th- I think it was Mark that had the uh, the question where it, it is a common uh, misconception from uh, Canadian mortgage consumers that aren't in the industry, where he said, well, I'm already paying 2.49, can't the bank just extend that? And, and, and that's a very perfectly natural assumption. Mm-hmm. What what you know When you get in the inner workings of the mortgage, something you have to remember is Scotia can't even get money for mm-hmm. that price right now. Right. You know, so, so we think, oh, it's the big bank, though. They can just, and I'm already paying that. They could just continue that. Well, no, they actually have to go to Treasury and they have to get new funds to extend that on their book. And they're paying substantially more for that money. Mm-hmm. So, you know, not certainly not defending the banks, but any stretch of the imagination. And Scotia Bank is a great partner of ours. Uh, they're, as well. they're a fantastic mm-hmm. partner. You know, full disclosure, they're number one lender for for over a decade in in the broker channel, right? So the fantastic partners, mm-hmm. if anything, more or less just a just an understanding of the inner workings. It's not that they don't want to. They have to go get those funds, and they are paying substantially more for it And as I think well. the pricing strategy with lenders has changed, Todd. Uh, you know, some lenders certainly have had a better appetite for, you know, retaining mortgages on their book in terms of renewal and onboarding new mortgages. And the appetite's not all the same. So right now, we're certainly seeing a lot of variance in terms of pricing from lender to lender. Okay, email question uh, before the phone says, uh, this question from Sean says, why do the credit rating companies not recognize paying off a mortgage early as a positive? Ooh, you borrowed, you paid back early. How is that not a positive thing? Love it. So I hear this all the time and it's not just a mortgage, it's any debt. So there's two credit reporting agencies in Canada. There's Equifax and TransUnion and it's out of a score of 900. So usually what we say is anything over, you know, 720 is an excellent score. It's made up of really three components. One is obviously making your payments. So making your point payments is mm-hmm. important. And, uh, you know, another factor is utilization. So it's the what is the high limit on the account and how much do you owe? Um, and then the other is really the credit mix. So like what type of, uh, you know, debts do you have? Do you have a car loan? Do you have a mortgage? Do you have a line of credit? Do you have credit cards? And, you know, having no credit is almost as bad or worse sometimes than having bad credit. So paying off your debts and paying them off quicker, the credit reporting agencies don't know and they really don't care. Mm -hmm. It's based on what is your risk profile and you making your payments obviously has an impact on what that score is going to be. And you need to make payments on active accounts. So once the account's closed, yes, mm-hmm. having good history is history, but history is in the past. Specifically with Equifax, everything falls off after six years in Nova Scotia. Uh, so if you had good history, bad history, it's gone after six okay. years. So nine zero two four five six thousand Bradley, hello. Hi, I just had a question. Is there ever a way in Nova Scotia where you could get a loan without putting a down payment because i know most places you have to have a five percent down payment yeah the minimum down payment is five percent but in nova scotia we do have a down payment assistance program that's run by the province and depending on what your household income is you can qualify in halifax you can qualify up to buying a home for five hundred thousand dollars so that's around where the median mark is in terms of uh, purchase price in different municipalities, that number is different, um, but all the information is available on the Nova Scotia Down Payment Assistance website. And if you want a link to the website, if you just even, you can visit our site at teamclinton.ca and, and email me, and uh, I will flip it back over to you so you can have a look and see if it's going to work uh, in your situation. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Brad. Appreciate it. Just to clarify a little bit on this program, because I think, you know, I do get asked this quite a lot. You know, home ownership oftentimes is cheaper than renting, especially in this rental environment. In Halifax, we're at 1% vacancy. The way the down payment assistance program works is it's an interest-free loan from the province, and you pay it back over 10 years. So it's registered as a second mortgage. Uh, and then you would get, uh, obviously, a first mortgage. You know, we'd range a first mortgage for a customer at 95%. And then the down payment source would be borrowed. And uh, high-ratio insurers have a, a, a program called Flex Down, So you can borrow your down payment. Mm-hmm. Whether that's from the Nova Scotia Down Payment Assistance Program, or maybe you can borrow your down payment from a, a, a unsecured line of credit, it would be the similar type of situation.
Okay, anything to add to that? That's I, I was going to bring up the flex down. The, mm-hmm. the, yeah, and I, I they was... have these similar programs, I think, in different provinces across the country. I know in the prairies they have a few pro, uh, they, programs. They don't have a five percent though. That's outstanding. Mm. Like, mm. yeah, it was. Um, and New we Brunswick were... has a program as well. So depending on where you are in the country and your municipality, different. Mm-hmm. Uh, obviously, there's different programs. Mm-hmm. It's a great program here in Nova Scotia. And it has been renewed over the last few years. Uh, I think the program was very popular in the early days, and they kind of maybe ran out of money or they excluded health. Halifax, the pocket that they had, you know, deemed for Halifax, that was kind of used up. Um, we have some clients that are going through that program right now. So certainly does okay. work and it's I, a great option. I've for got a, a quick email question that I wanted to get in. This one uh, says, can you ask about title insurance? And I know you get into this earlier to protect from property fraud. How do you get it and how much does it typically cost? Love it. We should have had this. We should have had this question when Brenna was here because yeah. I think she could p- speak to this. Yeah. Uh, I'll certainly talk, talk to it, talk about it. Uh, FCT is a big title insurer in Canada, and there's other competitors as well. Um, The way that title insurance works is when you do a mortgage, uh, the lender deems that you need to get title insurance. So that's a lender policy. Uh, You can also ask your lawyer uh, or FCT to get the homeowner side of the policy, which comes with, I think, about 40 different chattels. Uh, it, it, It protects you from things like title fraud, but it also protects you from things like your survey. You know, back in the day before title insurance was a thing, every time you did a transaction, you need to do a survey if your survey was more than like, let's say, 20 years old. Nobody does a survey anymore unless you're building a new house. And the survey is really only good for the person that paid for that survey. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that, you know, would have that endorsement. So title insurance is very, very common. And I can tell you in Nova Scotia, a lot of lawyers will do title insurance first and it protects you from other chattels like when you do a refinance uh, for example you don't need to do a water test Mm -hmm. if you live in the countryside you probably have a well and when you buy a home you need to test that water and the lender would condition on for a water test for a refinance but if you're getting title insurance it also comes with a water endorsement Um, you know we've heard of these horror stories that you know you've built a shed and it's been on your neighbor's line or on the other side Mm -hmm. of the property line Things like that may be protected by title insurance, depending on what your situation is. So I always tell people, if you have any disputes with your property lines, easements, right of ways, uh, certainly talk to a lawyer and see, you know, did you have title insurance and is that something that's going to protect you? All right. Uh, We are flush out of time, Chris. Uh, Anything you want to add before we wrap it up? No, I think that I think the only thing to close on is uh, you know everyone coming up with renewal. It's 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 not a knock on any particular bank whatsoever. You've just got to think of it's critical now more than ever. It's critical your bank that you're currently with. Their their main goal is to keep you there. There's mm-hmm. nothing wrong with that. Yep. But I'd much rather make sure that I'm going to somebody unbiased to present me the best option. Mm-hmm. Right. So just just some food for thought. It, it costs you absolutely nothing to go to an unbiased professional. Get every card in the deck laid out on the table to make mm-hmm. an informed decision for the next chapter versus going back to the bank that you're with that their sole purpose is to keep you there. So food for thought. That's the only thing okay. I had to add. Clinton, how do people get a hold of you? They can visit us online at teamclinton.ca slash radio. You know, I want to thank all our listeners. It was a great show. We've been doing this for five years. This is our 13th uh, show this season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're going to be back with you giving more great information. I think 2024 is going to be certainly an interesting ride. I think the rates are going to be high, at least for the first half of the year. And we're going to be here reporting to you live when the Bank of Canada Mm -hmm. meets. And uh, certainly we want to give you as much education and information as we can. Indeed. And you brought lunch. I I brought lunch. We are going to have a hot (laughs) lunch after this. All right. We always love it. Thanks for coming in, gentlemen, to both of you. If you've liked what you've heard and you want to learn more, feel free to visit us online at teamclinton.ca.